Hi everybody, today on Political Access, we're going to have two videos. This first one is going to be recapping the DeSantis Newsom debate, as well as taking a look at the fourth GOP primary debate coming up next week. So I'm going to try to go a little bit quicker since we've got two videos today. So let's start with last night's debate. Here's a summary article from The Hill, and that debate was pretty wild. There was a lot of bickering and talking over each other. It was a constant exchange of barbs and denials. At times, Sean Hannity struggled to maintain control, but in a sense, that is kind of what I was expecting. I think it's fair to say both of these guys have presidential ambitions, so it is unusual to see these two debating as opposed to Donald Trump and Joe Biden. But if you wanted something more civil and substantive and one where you didn't have to do a lot of your own research and fact-checking, this probably wasn't the debate for you. Now, I'm generally pro-debate, but I also don't want to have to constantly keep pausing to see who's right, who's exaggerating, who's wrong, and I think it's a lot of all of the above from both sides. There's enough material where DeSantis and Newsom can both cherry pick stats or spin the framing of the question to something that suits their agenda. So both of them, I think, had a couple of good lines. Both of them probably flopped at times. And ultimately, I think it went off the rails to have any kind of significant value. And I'll give credit to Newsom going on a Fox News debate against Sean Hannity. I think the deck was a little bit more stacked against him. They tried to hit up a variety of issues and they did cover a lot of ground, although a lot of it did drag on and on as they both had to get the last word in and correct the other statement about their record. As far as charisma goes, everybody always says DeSantis doesn't really have any. I think compared to Newsom, he is a little bit behind. But on the flip side, if you want to talk about smugness, there I think Newsom is going to have more than DeSantis. So these two love their states. They came in prepared with certain stats to throw at the other one. I'm sure a lot of it is contextual and embellished, but that's politics. What are you going to do about it? So this article does cover a lot of specifics. I don't really want to go through it line by line. I usually like to focus on the election electoral side of things. Once in a while, I'll cover a specific issue. But the biggest takeaway for me in this debate was Gavin Newsom vociferously defending Joe Biden and his administration. And somebody's got to do it if you're a Democrat. I'm sure Newsom did as well as anybody could. The only problem is I think a lot of that is going to fall extremely flat. He's giving them an A, talking up the economy and downplaying other concerns for most Americans. So that I think is a tough sell when there's a lot of pain out there. But all the other topics from COVID, abortion, crime, immigration, and education. The success of each answer is going to vary. Overall, I think Newsom was much more on the defensive. You might think some of those questions were a little bit unfair or misleading. A lot of times the questions were not answered directly, but other times he did come back and pivoted in another direction. I think DeSantis did benefit from the framing of most of these issues being helpful for him. So does this debate really matter? Not really. I think everybody's going to dig into their own political corners. DeSantis fans are going to say he destroyed Newsom. Newsom fans are going to say he destroyed DeSantis. There's going to be a ton of opposite reactions to the exact same events. That's pretty much what I expect these days, but it was nice to see two political stars on the same stage. I have other thoughts on it. I am interested in your thoughts down below in the comments, but I'm going to move on to that fourth Republican primary debate. That is next week on Wednesday the 6th. It's going to be in Alabama, and here's a Reuters article that summarizes it. The big name Donald Trump is not going to be there, and right now we're looking at a much cozier debate with only three candidates. It's going to be Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley, while Vivek Ramaswamy is just on the edge. So we might not actually get to see Chris Christie in this one. If that's the case, I assume he's pretty much done. I think that was inevitable. But these three are going to be vying for second place, and it seems like the framing is mostly around a DeSantis-Haley type of brawl, but Ramaswamy probably has more energy than both of those two. So they're going to go at it. Maybe Christie squeezes in in time. Other than that, him and Doug Burgum, probably going to be the end of the line pretty soon for them. But ultimately, I don't think it really matters much in this fourth debate because Trump has such a significant lead. And what is Trump going to be doing while this debate is happening? Here is the New York Times article, and it looks like he's going to be at a fundraiser. And after that debate, the Iowa caucus is not going to be that far off anymore, unless there's a significant curveball thrown. We know Trump has a substantial lead in all the early states. If everybody else dropped out, Trump would still gain enough of those votes to maintain his dominance. It would take something seismic for Trump to not be the front runner. Indictments have helped him. The GOP infighting has 
helped him, and Trump has also helped himself with his rallies, social media presence, and putting out some of his platform positions. So we're going to see what happens with that, but it's getting pretty late in the game, and I don't think it's completely meaningless if you're the frontrunner whose name is not Donald Trump. It's always possible something serious could happen with Trump, and they're going to need a backup. Seems like Nikki Haley has gained some steam. I think it's mostly superficial, but she is going to be friendly to a lot of those big-name corporate donors. So without Trump there, not as many people are going to watch, but whoever is watching are likely to see at least those three go at it, and we'll see what happens. So I'm going to leave it there for now, and let me know in the comments. Did you watch the Newsom DeSantis debate, and who do you think won? And what about this fourth GOP primary debate? Are you a lot more interested now that it's down to fewer candidates? Is there any stopping Trump? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Join if you'd like to support the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.